The Obrid bus bar rapidly charges buses at one or both ends of a bus route. Thanks to technologically new fast charging batteries, a new type of electric bus transit system is now available. Obrid manager Roger Bedell explains. These new batteries from companies like Alter Nano make a new type of bus system possible. The batteries themselves are really extraordinary because they can be charged very quickly and many, many times, thousands and thousands of times. This system is called the Opera Bus Bar. The pantographs raise up, contact the bar, and then the charging sequence commences. A, char a, a lot of charges flows into the battery very quickly and in five minutes you can have enough charge to run the bus for 10 or 15 kilometers. And in Europe in general, a lot of the bus routes are fairly small so that 10 or 15 kilometers is more than enough to either run one way or there and back again. As we all know, there is no single solution to solving the climate crisis. We don't just need solar panels, wind turbines or bicycles. We need all of these things and more. One solution is clean, sustainable transportation. The Oprid bus bar converts buses from loud, polluting, diesel-burning vehicles into quiet, clean electric transport. There's a number of hidden advantages to this system in that there really aren't any overhead wires. For example, if you put a trolley bus in a city, that you have to string a lot of overhead wires that are fairly, maybe not very pretty, and also take a lot of maintenance to keep up. Also, you might consider putting in um, a tram system, which has pretty much the same thing, except even more. You have to dig up the streets, you have to put in tracks, and often it can take years. Also, trams and metros are extremely expensive. This is relatively inexpensive to implement. All you need, really, is this charging station, and the buses and you're you're ready to go. Epion is Europe's leader in the fast charging of electric vehicles. Most recently, Epion introduced their system for fast charging cars like the Nissan Leaf. Epion's CEO Hans Streng demonstrates the system. Now look at this. This is a, a charging pole that is typically out in the street and can charge the typical consumer cars. Now, if you compare this to the bus situation, then you will see that for car charging, you have a connector that looks pretty much like uh, what you do for uh, normal fueling. It is the same size, the same setup. Now, if you look at the size of this thing and the size of the car that is being charged with it, then you see that the buses are a few times bigger and the power that is needed is also a few times higher, a few times more than what is needed for the car. And that means that this connector, which is used for a passenger car, for bus cases has to be three or four times as big as this one. So these are massive connectors that you would need for buses. And that is unhandleable for a typical driver or uh, a typical user. So um, that is again where uh, Obrit comes in with the overhead uh, charging. It is possible to get rid of this charging all in all, simply use the charging technology and the routing technology that Epion provides and then charge a bus instead of a passenger vehicle. Today, hybrid electric buses already exist, such as this one in Appledore, the Netherlands. The bus is built by the company E-Traction and is being converted to fast charging using the Oprid bus bar. A number of other manufacturers have also developed hybrid buses suitable for conversion to fast charging. Once converted to fast charging, these hybrid buses run almost entirely on electricity, only reverting to diesel when absolutely necessary. Besides just saving money, fast charged electric buses have many other advantages. Managing Director Arjan Heinen of E-Traction explains. Now we are working uh, with a bus that consumes a lot of energy, even with our system. And to come through the day, you need a range extender. And that means that in some parts of the city, you, ha you have to have some kind of energy producing uh, uh, system in the bus. You can use 
a, a small diesel engine or you can use a fuel cell. And an alternative to that is fast charging. And that means that, uh, let me say, on, on where the bus stops uh, and uh, for a few minutes at the beginning and at the end station, you can charge the battery uh, in the meantime and you can drive uh, electrically do, during the complete day so you don't need this range extender. In addition to this, fast charge electric buses are much quieter and emit no pollution. These buses eliminate the known health hazards of diesel smoke and are also very quiet. The passengers are very happy with it because, uh, because of lack of shifting. It's a very quiet and smoothly bus and because of uh, the electric drive the noise levels go down from approximately 80 decibel to 62 decibel so that means that you can easily talk to each other and you can use your phone um, what means that um, you have uh, more comfort for the, for the passengers. The drivers are very happy as well because it gives them uh, very more comfort in driving and if you shift the whole day your gear um, every uh, minute uh, a few times or you have a bus that is all the time quiet and smoothly it gives you a big advantage if during your working day and that means that the, the buses, the, the drivers are more uh, relaxed. The Oprid bus bar can be installed in just a few days with very little visual impact in the city. All the components for a fast charged bus system are available today. The economic uh, uh, profitability of deployment of buses versus, uh, versus fossil, it becomes already profitable to do uh, electric buses in a matter of three to four years time. So if the batteries last for about five to six years, then the remainder of the lifetime is, is accumulating profit. So whatever you depreciate on the buses and whatever you do, it is earning money as compared to uh, fossil. Uh, we are on the stepping stone of a new era and that means that we have to go to electric driving. We have no chance. We cannot afford, uh, let me say, to, to produce um, one billion cars in the next future, uh, ten years from now, if we know already now that we consume twice the amount of energy. Time has come to change our transportation system from petroleum to electricity. With this system, we can change most of the urban buses in the world from petroleum to electricity just by changing the buses to high, fast charge hybrids like this one and installing these charging stations using existing technology. We can do this now and we need to do it now. With the recent advances in battery technology, the availability of suitable hybrid buses and the operate bus bar charging station, fast charging buses is available today to bring clean, sustainable public bus transportation to your city.